everyone, and welcome back to Tiny Point Actual Speaking. It's great to have you back. My name is Jennifer Clyde. Now it's time for lesson 32, and we'll be focusing on a requested topic. One of our viewers actually requested a topic for today, and it is hmm, home repairs. So I'm sure we all have repairs to do, okay, around the house. You may do it yourself. You may call someone like a plumber or a repairman or a handyman to take care of it for you. If not, of course, you can renovate your house. You could kind of modernize your house by adding a few things, changing the colors around your house, or rearranging furniture as well. But we'll mainly focus on home repairs, fixing things around the house. All right, so are you ready? Let's get started. Okay, everyone, are you ready to begin with our warm-up segment? Today, we are going to focus in general on home improvement. And as I did mention, we'll focus on home repairs, fixing things around the house or even changing a few things around the house to make it look better. Okay, let's brainstorm with the five W's and H. Let's begin with the first W, which is who. So think about this question. Who usually does the repair work at home? Do you do it? Does your husband do it? Does your brother do it? Or do you usually ask someone to fix things for you? Do you call a repairman? Okay, think about that question. Now, who do you call for repairs? Call for something means to make a phone call to ask someone to do something for you. So if you have any repair work that needs to be done, repairs, you can call someone to come over and do the repairs. So who do you call for repairs? Moving on to our what category. What did you have to repair around your house? Was it a leaky faucet? Was your toilet broken? Um, did you have a crack on the wall or even on the flooring? Think about those. Think about what you had to do repair on. And what was the problem? Hmm. Now, as I did mention, well, if something was leaky, it means that water was probably overflowing or water was leaking through a pipe, for example. So think about what the problem was, okay? Also, what did you renovate or refurnish or redesign? I guess these are more geared towards home improvement or redesigning, renovating, right? I think often in Korea, people say demodeling, remodeling, but in place of remodeling, renovate is used much more often. So, okay, instead of saying remodeling, try using to renovate. It means to uh, perhaps uh, refurnish things, rearrange things, modernize things, kind of make it a lot fresher, okay? So you're renovating, fixing things or changing things. Refurnish, you can refurnish your furniture at home. If you have a leather sofa and you want to cover it with fabric, for example, you can refurnish your sofa, okay? And also redesign. You are designing your home, your room, any part of your house, again, which means to redesign, design over again. Now, what kinds of changes did you make around the house? So think about the changes, okay, you made around the house. Moving on to when. When was the last time you had to do home repairs? When was the last time you needed repairs done around the house? And also, when did you renovate your home? For example, mm, the apartment that I live in is a very old apartment, and my mother and I moved into this apartment probably about 15 years ago. So when we moved in, we renovated the whole apartment. I'll give you some examples of what we did when we renovated the apartment. We um, had new floors. We had new wallpaper put up. Of course, uh, what else did we do? We had pipes installed. We had a whole kitchen uh, installed. We had built-in refrigerators. So that is all renovating, okay? So when did you renovate your home? If you did, think about that. Now, where was the crack, the leak, or the squeaking? So if there was a crack in a tile or the floor, think about when that was or where that crack was. What about leak? Water is leaking, perhaps, in the bathroom somewhere or in the kitchen, utility room. And squeaking. A squeak is squeak, 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 that sound. So was there a squeak anywhere? Perhaps door hinges? Okay, think about that as well. Now, why do you or why don't you keep proper maintenance in mind? A lot of men, they keep an eye on what's going on, what's happening around the house. They check to see if any repair work needs to be done. So why do you or don't you keep proper maintenance in mind? Okay, let's move on. How category? How often do you check for repairs at home? How often do you look around your house to see if anything needs to be repaired? So think about that question as well. And how did you go about fixing the problem? Simply put, what did you do to fix the problem? Okay, and finally, last but not least, how much did the repair work cost? Did it cost you a lot of money or did it not cost you anything because you did the repair on your own? Okay, so think about these brainstorming cues, the five W's and H on your own, and let's now move on to actual talk. Hey Peter, do you know how to fix a leaking sink? Yeah, you oh. call the plumber. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, I know how to do a little bit of that, some uh -huh. minor repair work, but I don't have any tools in Korea. Oh, I guess it's more convenient then to maybe call a repairman or mm -hmm. like a handyman. Well, that would be a plumber. <laughs> a plumber, yes. Well, or a handyman would I help, feel like yeah. in Korea, plumbers can also be uh, very, like, renaissance men. They do a lot of other kind of handiwork as well, so sure. that's what I meant. But, oh, okay, I'll have to find a plumber then. Yeah. yeah. Do you actually have anything that you need to repair at home? No, I live in a brand new apartment building, oh, so, so we never have anything to repair. Or if we do, we just call the uh, Kyungi Odyssey. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. That works out, huh? Um, okay, well, I'll have to do some research about where I can find... Yeah, you want to do this man. yourself? No, I don't want to do this myself. You can watch some TV show about it, you know, the DIY network. That's true, but I'm not very skilled with my hands, so oh, yeah. I'd rather leave it to the professionals. Mm. Yeah. Oh, you know, I also have to fix my refrigerator, now that I think about it. Yeah, that a lot sounds of things like something I couldn't help you with. Yeah, but... When I was young, um, my father had me do all kinds of stuff, oh. uh, from minor plumbing work to building decks and uh, fences, oh, <laughs> taking wow. post holes and building fences and uh, oh. things like that. So I learned all that stuff when I was young, okay. and I did a little bit of construction work when I was young, but it's it's more of a good experience um, mm -hmm. and then you realize the value of hiring somebody to get it done for you. That's true, because sometimes those DIY projects can be really time-consuming. Time-consuming. Yeah. And if you make one little mistake, right. you can screw everything exactly. up. Exactly, which means uh, it could be even costlier, right? More more expensive. Much more expensive, yeah. yeah. So maybe it's best to always call like a repairman or like a professional to do those kind mm. of work. Huh? Yeah, you might try to fix the plumbing or I might try to fix your plumbing and then there's water everywhere and that's you've got true. water damage. Okay, so I'm going to look for a plumber. Yeah, that's the best idea. All right. Welcome back, everyone. Did you enjoy today's actual talk between Peter and Rachel? Now, what was the problem? Rachel, well, she was asking Peter if he knew how to do repair work. She seems to have a leaky sink, so there's a problem. It needs to be repaired, and she did think of some other problems, okay, other things that need to be fixed. Now, Peter sure sounds like he is a handyman. He is a very skilled man. Even as a young boy, he learned how to do many, many things. He even did construction work, right? Okay, let's take a look at the dialogue line by line. First of all, Rachel began by saying, Peter, do you know how to fix a leaking sink? Or, even better, you can say a leaky sink, meaning water is leaking from the sink, okay? Do you know how to fix? Do you know how to repair a leaky sink? And then Peter says, yeah, you call the 
a plumber. Simple, right? So what is a plumber? A plumber is a person that fixes, installs fixtures or appliances that have to do with water, water supply. So if your toilet, there's a problem with your toilet, or if there is a problem with your sink and it involves water, you will most likely have to call a plumber. Have a plumber come over to fix things, fix a leaky sink. Okay, so he says, well, yeah, simple, you call a plumber. I know how to do some minor repair work. So Peter is talking about how he knows how to do minor repair work. Minor is nothing big, right? It's not major, major is big, serious. Minor is small, it's not that big. So perhaps he can do easy repair work, simple repair work, but I don't have any tools in Korea. Tools, okay, to actually fix things in Korea. Well, she says, I guess it's more convenient to call a repairman or handyman. Repairman, we all know, is a person usually that fixes things, okay? And also a handyman is someone that is skilled with his hands as well. A handyman would be someone that can fix small things, okay? A handyman is not exactly a professional, not exactly a repairman, but a handyman is someone that can fix small things around the house. That's good with their hands, that's skilled with their hands. So she says, yeah, I guess it's more convenient to ask these people, a repairman or a handyman, to come over and fix the leaky sink. Moving on, he says, well, that would be a plumber. Once again, he says, yeah, call a plumber. She says, I feel like in Korea, plumbers can also be like Renaissance men. Remember, we did talk about Renaissance man. I think Peter said that he was kind of a Renaissance man. A Renaissance man is a person that is skilled in many, many different things, who knows how to do a lot of things, who has a lot of knowledge, okay, in many different things. So she says, in Korea, I think plumbers, they're like Renaissance men, meaning plumbers in Korea, they seem to know how to do a lot of things. They seem to be able to fix everything, okay? They do a lot of other handiwork, which means work done by hand as well. Peter says, sure, let's move on. Okay, I'll have to find a plumber then. Do you have anything that you need to repair at home? So this time she's asking Peter, is there anything that you need to repair at home? And he says, no, I live in a brand new apartment. It's a new apartment. It's a newly built apartment building. So we never have anything to repair. Okay, never have anything to repair. Meaning, of course, there's nothing to repair because the apartment building that I live in right now is brand new. Okay, it's new. Or if we do, now, if we do have anything to repair, we just call the Kyung Hyodeji. That's what he said. I think he's referring to a maintenance man. Okay, a maintenance man would be someone that works, of course, in an apartment building that you can call for repairs. You can call them up and say, hey, we have a problem with the sink. There's a problem with the toilet. We have a problem here, there. Can you come over and fix it? So that is a maintenance man. Okay, now moving on. Well, Rachel says, well, I have to do some research about or on where I can find a repairman or handyman. Remember, repairman, handyman. And he says, you could watch some or a TV show about it. About it meaning repairs, right? Or repairman or handyman. The DIY, the DIY network. You only know. DIY. It's often seen today on sites. A lot of people talk about DIY something. Basically, DIY stands for do it yourself. You may find furniture and you can uh, assemble it on your own and that would be called a DIY furniture, okay? So he's saying you can watch some TV shows about DIY networks, okay? All these networks. That's true, but I'm not very skilled with my hands. Okay, be skilled with one's hands. What does this mean? Okay, you're skilled, meaning you have the skills. You are good at something. Good at something, meaning skilled with one's hands. You're good with your hands. You can do a lot of things with your hands. You can fix things, you can make things. You're good at doing things with your hands. But she says, I'm not very skilled with my hands, so I would rather leave it to the professionals. Hmm. What does that mean? Leave it to the professionals. It means, well, have the professionals take care of it. Okay, so she says, I'm not skilled with my hands. I'm not good with my hands, so I'd rather call the professional, such as a handyman or a repairman. She says, oh, I also have to fix my refrigerator now that I think about it. Ah, it just occurred to me. I have to fix my refrigerator. And then moving on. That sounds like something I couldn't help you with, he says. Now, Peter says, I can't fix a refrigerator. So, well, he talks about when he was young. When I was young, my father had me do all kinds of stuff. And he begins by talking about from A to B. From minor plumbing work to building decks and fences, digging post holes, and things like that. So he's giving some examples of what his father had him do or what he learned from his father as a young boy. Well, he learned how to do plumbing work. He built decks and fences. He even dug post holes, digging post holes, holes in the ground where posts actually go. So I learned all that stuff when I was young. And he says, and I did a little bit of construction work as well when he was young. It's more of a good learning experience. Yeah, a lot of things, even if you don't make use of it in the future, you learn something or you do something and it can be a learning experience, meaning a very valuable experience. And he says, you realize the value of hiring somebody to get it done for you. Anyhow, the whole point is he did construction work and it was a learning experience. Moving on. Now, Rachel says that's true because sometimes those DIY do-it-yourself projects can be really time consuming, meaning it can take up a lot of time. It can take a long time to do, right? And he says time consuming, yes. And if you make one little mistake, you make a mistake, you can screw everything up. Now, screw. Of course, we put screws in furniture, doors, right? But screw something up means to mess things up, okay? To cause, to cause problems. So he says, yeah, DIY projects are time consuming, but if you make one little mistake, one tiny mistake, you can screw everything up, you can mess everything up, okay? And she says, which means it could be even costlier, which means cost more money, be more expensive. And then moving on. So Rachel says, so maybe it's best to call a repairman or a professional to do that kind of work. It's best to do something. In this case, it's best to call a repairman. Now, moving on, Peter says, you might try to fix the plumbing, or I might try to fix your plumbing, and then there's water. Water damage. What is water damage? Okay, water everywhere. That's right. He explains to us. There's water everywhere and you've got water damage. So water damage basically is a situation where you have water everywhere. Your house could be flooded with water and that is water damage. There's water leaking from every place. That's water damage. And she says, that's true. Okay, I'm going to look for a plumber. Now Rachel says she's going to look for a plumber and that about brings us to an end to today's actual talk. Okay, we took a look at some expressions that we can use when talking about home improvement, home repairs. Well, have a listen one more time and check out the subtitles. Hey Peter, do you know how to fix a leaking sink? Yeah, you oh. call the plumber. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, I know how to do a little bit of that, some uh -huh. minor repair work, but I don't have any tools in Korea. Oh, I guess it's more convenient than to maybe call a repairman mm -hmm. or a handyman. Well, that would be a plumber. <laughs> a plumber, yes. Well, or a handyman would I feel like yeah. in Korea, plumbers can also be uh, very, like, renaissance men. They do a lot of other kind of handiwork as well, so sure. that's what I meant. But, oh, okay, I'll have to find a plumber then. Yeah. Uh, do you actually have anything that you need to repair at home? 
No, I live in a brand new apartment building, oh, so, so we never have anything to repair. Or if we do, we just call the uh, county Odyssey. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. That works out, huh? Um, hmm, okay, well, I'll have to do some research about where I can find... Yeah, you want to do this yeah. yourself? No, I don't want to do this myself. You could watch some TV show about it, you know, the DIY network. That's true, but I'm not very skilled with my hands, so oh, I'd rather leave it to the professionals. Mm. Yeah. Oh, you know, I also have to fix my refrigerator, now that I think about it. Yeah, that a lot sounds of things like something I couldn't help you with. <laughs> yeah, but... When I was young, um, my father had me do all kinds of stuff, oh. uh, from my plumbing work to building decks and uh, fences, <laughs> oh, <laughs> digging wow. post holes and building fences and uh, oh. things like that. So I learned all that stuff when I was young, okay. and I did a little bit of construction work when I was young, but it's, it's more of a good learning experience, um, mm -hmm. and then you realize the value of hiring somebody to get it done for you. That's true, because sometimes those DIY projects can be really time-consuming. Time-consuming. Yeah. And if you make one little mistake, right. you can screw everything up. Exactly, which means uh, it could be even costlier, right? More more expensive. Much more expensive, yeah. yeah. So maybe it's best to always call like a repairman or like a professional to do those kind mm. of work. Yeah, huh? you might try to fix the plumbing, or I might try to fix your plumbing, and then there's water everywhere, and that's you've got true. water damage. Okay, so I'm going to look for a plumber. Yeah, that's the best idea. All right. Well, welcome back, everyone. Hope you have a better understanding of the actual talk between the two. Let's now move on and check out some actual talk expressions. Once again, we are talking about home improvement and doing repair work around the house. So first of all, when you want to talk about doing repair work or renovating your place, you can say, it's time to do a complete overhaul of our master bedroom or living room. Now, a complete overhaul. An overhaul basically means to examine something and to repair something. You're checking to see if any repairs need to be done. And complete is all the way, okay? A thorough examination. So you're looking through the house for any repair work that needs to be done. So you can say, it's time to do something. It's about time. I've waited long enough. It's now just about time to do a complete overhaul of our master bedroom. A master bedroom is the biggest bedroom in the house. In Korean, that would be anfang, right? Or living room. Another one, it's time to give our home a facelift. What is a facelift? You might often hear facelift when it comes to plastic surgery or cosmetic surgery, right? You have wrinkles, you want to get rid of those wrinkles, people often get facelifts. But in this case, what are we doing? We're fixing the house, giving it a fresher, a more modern look. You're fixing things around the house, you're renovating your house. Now, when it comes to automobiles, cars, well, you can say there was a facelift done. It means there were minor changes done, or it was slightly redesigned. So you can talk about that. Another one, trouble areas have been popping up in my house. Trouble areas meaning areas that need to be taken care of. Problem areas, problem areas or trouble areas have been popping up in my house. Okay, another one, the utility room is beyond repair. Utility room in Korean is uh, 가용도실, right? So usually in utility rooms, you have the washer and the dryer, and of course there are many, many pipes. But if you say it is beyond repair, you are saying, well, it's almost impossible to fix. There's so many things to fix, okay? So the utility room is beyond repair. Moving on, I invested in a great faucet and light fixture. We all know what a faucet is. In the sink, the part where the water comes out would be the faucet, and light fixture is lighting, okay? But if you spend a lot of money buying these things or purchasing these things, you can say, I invested. I invested in so-and-so. Another way of saying this is, I paid a lot for the new kitchen countertop. I paid a lot for. I invested a lot in. I invested in something. Another one, we had our walls repainted. Painted again, since the paint was peeling off. Mm. The paint was peeling off. Painted up, right? So you had to repaint the walls. Okay, you have to paint, have the walls repainted. Another one, we had some color added to the kitchen. You had some color added to the kitchen. What does that mean? Perhaps your kitchen was all white and black. And if you add color to the kitchen, you are perhaps painting some parts of the kitchen pink, red, yellow, giving it color. Okay, I think usually during the spring season, a lot of houses, a lot of females and wives, they like to add a pinch of color to the house. All right, ways to talk about common household repair problems. Okay, quickly, let's take a look. Leaky faucets. Water is leaking. In that case, you can say the leaky faucet was replaced in the bathroom, meaning you got a new faucet. You fixed it, you repaired it. Another one, failed appliances. Failed meaning broken, out of order. Our washer, our dryer, our refrigerator broke down, okay? And we had to get it fixed. As we all know, a washer is simply washing machine. A dryer is not a hair dryer or a blow dryer. It is the machine in which we put clothes in to dry it, okay? So washing machine, dryer, refrigerator. It broke down, so you got it fixed. Broken water heaters or burst pipes. A lot of people worry about this, especially in the winter. Pipes around the house froze burst and we had to call a repairman. This usually happens in the winter when it's very, very cold. So it froze or went poof and it burst. And so you had to call a repairman. When temperatures drop below freezing, drop below zero, I protect the pipes, okay, with insulating tape and wrap. What does this mean? Usually when the weather gets very, very cold, temperatures drop to below zero, the pipes can freeze and burst. So what can you do? You can protect the pipes with insulating tape and wrap to protect it. Insulate means to prevent something from, of course, going out perhaps energy, electricity. So insulating tape and wrap would protect the pipes from bursting or freezing, okay? Let's take a look. Broken water heaters or burst pipes on very cold nights in the winter, I leave the faucets dripping. Or you can also say running, okay? So you leave it dripping a little bit. Droplets of water keep on dripping so that the pipes don't burst or freeze, right? Okay, now let's take a look at running toilets. I easily fixed a running toilet with parts from a hardware store or home improvement center. These are places you could go to buy parts to fix things. Keep in mind, hardware store or home improvement center. Okay, let's move on, check out a few more. All right, a running toilet is an easy repair, okay? And quickly, mildew, mold, and stains. Mildew and mold, simply think, kumpang, okay? And also stains. I make sure that the bathrooms, kitchen, are properly vented. That's pong pong, right? Air is flowing and have good airflow. Another one, I removed the mold or mildew from the bathroom walls and ceilings with bleach and bristle brush. So when there is mold or even mildew or stains in the bathroom, yes, you should clean it. So in this case, you could clean it or remove the mold with bleach and a bristle brush, okay? So keep these expressions in mind, and that is a wrap for today's Actual Talk Expressions. Okay, everyone, it is time for today's idiom, and as we are talking about home improvement, doing repair work around the house, uh, I come up with this idiom for the day. It is to go down the drain. Now, often in our sink or even in the shower or bathtub, we have a drain in which the water flows to the sewer, right? So, go down the drain. What does it mean? Here is a sentence. My computer crashed, and a whole day of work went down the drain. My computer crashed, 
and my whole day of work went down the drain. Here's the definition. To go down the drain, 헛수고, 수포로 돌아가다, 혹은 회사가 파산하다. Okay, it's not two meanings, but in most cases it means 헛수고로 돌아가다, be wasted or even lost. Here is another sentence. Everything that I've worked for is down the drain. Everything that I've worked for, I've worked so hard, but it's now down the drain. There's no use for it. Well, yeah, we don't want that to happen, right? Well, everyone keep in mind to go down the drain. It means to be wasted or lost. Talk about the last time you had to do some home repairs. What was the problem? How did you go about fixing the problem? Describe the steps in detail. Actually, there's nothing to me to, to do home repairs because the home that I live now is boarding house. Well, there's one experience that I made a furniture for myself. When I first moved from dormitory to, the, to this boarding house, there was no closet in my room. So I searched the internet and find, found the furniture in kit form. Uh, it was so difficult to assemble them at first. Its size was so big and it needed a huge strength to assemble them. First, I had to uh, make a frame of the closet and then put fabrics together. It, it was so hard, but I finally succeeded, and I used, it, I used it so well from now on. I'm so proud of myself. Okay, well, it is time for actual interview. Did you enjoy it? Yoon Young-min, kamsahamnida. Thank you for your time and the wonderful interview. Now, she did mention that she used to live in a dormitory. All students do, or many students do, so did I. And actually, she moved to a boarding house. Did she say she had to do some repair work around the house? I don't think so. Let's check out what she said. First of all, it was great that she mentioned, when I first moved from the dormitory to this boarding house, there was no closet in my room. So she, of course, began by talking about how first she stayed in a dormitory, but she moved to a boarding house. So she's talking about the boarding house, but there was no closet in her room. Good job, moving on. It was so hard, of course, to assemble uh, the furniture, but I finally succeeded. It's wonderful how she said it was very hard to do something. And she didn't finish there. She also added, although it was hard, it was good at the end. I had good results. I finally succeeded. Okay, she didn't mention something about assembling things, right? Here, let's check out an oopsie. There's one experience that I made a furniture by myself. Let's take a look at this. Which parts do you think you would fix if you had a chance to make a few corrections? Here, there's one experience. It may sound a bit awkward that I made a furniture by myself. Usually when you say furniture, you don't say a furniture, right? So that part should be omitted as well. Let's check it out. There was a time, okay? You're talking about an instance, okay? a time in the past, I made furniture by myself. Not I made a furniture, no, I made furniture, okay? There's furniture in the living room, and it could include the sofa, the coffee table, everything, okay? Always furniture. Moving on, I searched the internet, and I found a furniture in kit form. Once again, yeah, same mistake. What you could do is, I searched the internet, and I found furniture in kit form. Wonderful way of saying that. Or you could simply say, do it yourself furniture, because yes, she assembled the furniture by herself. So you can say, I found furniture in kit form, or I found DIY furniture in kit form. Wonderful job, everyone. Now, there are small mistakes that people commonly make. No big worries. Just try practicing along with us, learn what are actual interviews, and correct them little by little. Good job. Hope you had a good time with us as we took a look at the topic requested by one of our viewers once again. Well, thank you so much for the request, and we talked about home improvement, focused more on home repairs. Now, out of all the repair work that needs to be done around the house, the most frustrating could possibly be water damage, I think. Um, it's almost all the time very important to keep proper maintenance and upkeep, just to make sure there are no problems around the house, especially when it comes to leaky pipes and water leaking here and there, because proper maintenance will save you a lot of money. Okay, that is all for today, everyone. Hope you had a wonderful time. Next time, I'll be joining you back with another topic. It's money, so we'll be talking about money. We all wish we had lots of. Okay, in the meantime, you can always come to our homepage. Feel free to come to www.ebse.co.kr. Now, type in Tinnipoi Actual Speaking. It'll be a lot easier and faster for you to find our webpage or homepage for our program. Okay, everyone, in the meantime, take care and leave your posts, questions, anything. You're more than welcome to do that. I'll catch you again next time. Bye for now.